Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you something that is absolutely awesome. Um, this is one of the best features of Octane. It's also a very hidden feature of Octane. Um, if you go over here to your materials, you pretty much only have an option for new, right? Surface, you can pick all these different types of nodes and shaders. Um, but what if I told you there was a way to get a ton of free, amazing materials through this free plugin already in Blender. So check this out. Um, you're gonna need to hit your search option that pulls up your universal search. Uh, I have mine in my preferences. Do, 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 where is it? What is it, key map? I have my spacebar action set to search. So if you wanna do that for now, um, and then put it back to however you had it. I honestly don't remember what the default is. It's like, it was like shift search or control search. I don't know. All right, so check this out. So I'm gonna search and I'm gonna type in DB. And right here, open octane live DB and local DB. I'm gonna click that. And here it brings you to your local database. Um, if you use octane on another system, or not another system, another software package, uh, like Cinema 4D or something, and you save some materials to your local database, they'll probably show up here. Uh, but for most of you, yours is gonna look like mine. I don't have anything saved here. So go to your live database, and the magic is here in the materials. So if you expand organic, you have wood, stone, vegetation, skin, and liquids non-organic you have metal plastic glass cloth paint checkerboard and composite you guys can read i don't know why i read them all off for you but anyways these are amazing and to prove it we're going to use some right now so first thing uh let me make sure i have an environment in here okay a daylight environment that's not going to cut it we're going to do texture environment i'm going to grab one of my image textures meaning i'm going to grab an hdri map here and yeah, this kind of floats over everything too, so watch out for that. Let's grab um, probably my Canada Montreal. This is one of my go-to ones. I well, I love it. You know what? No, let's let's grab this one. I want more. I don't want such an orange, uh, a warm scene. So we'll go with this guy. Um, uh oh, not responding. That's cool. I just loaded a ton of stuff on a different SSD, so that could be, that might be why. It's never really done that before. Okay, anyways, let's double check here. Set our gamma to one. All right, so now I have an accurate HDRI and no material to my scene. So I'm gonna expand the wood. And the only thing that sucks about this right now is there's no search option, so that's one thing that is kind of a bummer and there's a lot of materials, but I'll show you where it's the bummer specifically. But anyways, let's grab this, uh, the sphere and to get this material onto here, you'd think like, Oh, maybe I'll click and drag. No, that's not how it works. Select your material, right? Click it, import it and magic. Looks great. Um, there are some issues when you very first, when you do this, like when you import a material, and it's the color space. So specularity, roughness, bump, you know, normal displacement, stuff like that. These need to be set to non-color data. And it looks like those were linked, so those both changed. But this guy right here needs to be non-color data. And I always stop it and restart it when I change random stuff over here. There we go. Look at that. So you can see the light break up here in the, the bumps and the grain of that wood. All right, let's put something cool in our plane and drag this back over. And let's check out, I don't know, what do you guys want to check out? Stone. And sometimes when you click to expand it, they load and it takes a little bit. So just give it a sec. Um, actually, we just, we just made a road. Let's load in a road. Asphalt dashed line or asphalt dashed line? Hard choice. I think I'm going to go with this one, though. 
import and let's double check that everything is in the right color space it is not so these guys non-color and that actually changed my uh, my diffuse to non-color see how nothing actually changed hold on theoretically this should be should be black and white um, anyways clear that put this back to srgb and let's grab our transform and make sure it's attached to all your textures i'm going to hold shift and i'm going to scale it down a little bit there we go check that out that is just the coolest thing i mean that took us i don't know like two minutes to do and it probably would have taken you 30 seconds if you've already done this before and know what you wanted um, that's another reason why the search option would be super cool you could just go up here and type in boom asphalt and it would populate but anyways um, yes you have these and they're awesome same as in the non-organic oh golf ball that's cool uh, let's grab this because it looks cool let's put it on our wood import there we go I'm not gonna mess with the sRGB right now uh, but this miscellaneous folder sometimes this takes a little while to expand so I'm gonna click it and then we'll wait for a while boom okay this is especially where the search would come in handy look at all these materials and the other day I was looking just for a random material. I think I was looking for like chocolate or something. So I looked here. Oh, okay, I'm in B, still B. All right, I'm getting, I was in the CHs earlier. So then I started scrolling. Well, I found nothing under chocolate. But I did keep scrolling. And I went a lot slower. And I just started looking at colors. Oops. Oh, oh I just saw it there. Hard chocolate. Finally found it. Import. Look at that. And I eventually found like three different chocolates, but I think it took me a couple minutes to go through. Not a big deal, honestly, when you think about it, because having this in a minute or so, a minute or so, already done and looks so good just by clicking it is awesome. Um, I did see in materials and settings, you can save as Octane database. I've tried this a few times and I actually crash. So I'm gonna send an email and ask about that. I don't wanna do it now. Now it'll probably work because I'm recording and I just told you it didn't work, but so far it has not worked for me. And I imagine when you save this as an Octane database, um, it would save this locally I don't know. I haven't got it to work, so I haven't figured it out. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. All right. That's really all for this tutorial. Uh, I hope it helped you. hope it was uh, pretty awesome. Hopefully you're as excited as I am about it, because when I found out I can get a ton of pre-made materials, I was super excited. Um, some people may not want to use pre-made materials. They want to make their own. Totally fine. That's cool. But if you're blocking out a scene and you just want to throw some quick materials on it and not spend forever building out your note group, this is a great way to get started and get a visualization going. So yeah, uh, feel free to play with it. Comment if you guys have any questions. And um, yeah, see you in the next tutorial.